All right, keep trying to make mile long videos and camera keeps running out of freaking storage. So I'm just going to make little mini videos and just get some good information out there. That's all I'm going to try to do. Different kind of stick welders and generally speaking, I'll always be talking about stick. Uh, I'm trying to get into TIG a little bit now. I have a uh, start of the TIG, scratch start TIG. Uh, I don't know what it is right now. Um, you know, uh, kit started. I just need to finish getting all the pieces, power block, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, but love stick welding. It's great. Shield metal arc welding. Uh, original was arc welding. Anyway, let's talk about the different kinds of stick welders you'll usually run into and the different, uh, you know, just kind of compare the two a little bit and we'll just make, we'll make that a video here. Uh, you know, the main, the main ones you'll, you'll see, you know, stick welders, well, there's actually like a third kind is like a nice Everlast and it'll be, uh, it'll be, uh, you know, a thousand bucks or whatever, or whatever, six hundred dollars or whatever, and it'll have a million features like Pulse and a bunch of other stuff. It's just, you know, I mean, that's up to you if you want to buy that kind of machine or not. Your money, whoever you want with it. Um, I am cheap, however, and uh, very, very cheap, and uh, I, I, I won't, I won't, I can't do that. If I bought a machine for that much, it would be able to do high frequency TIG, and that, you know, with a foot pedal, you know, that's, that's why I would spend my money. And I'll, you can't get a machine that does both and this and that, but I haven't got there yet. Anyway, you're going to run into old uh, transformer machines, stick welders, um, and you're going to run into these newer uh, inverter type, this is a transformer, this is an inverter type welder. Uh, this, this one, I'm just kind of give you the comparison of these two. And I know you might not have this one or that one, or this is just representing the invert, the newer style, new age, cheaper inverter welders. That was 150 bucks, chipped, 149 actually. That was 100 bucks. Of course, that's all up to who you know and who you know, and what you can find and whatever you know. Trade for, buy outright, whatever. And a lot of people are stupid. I've seen some stupid. Old Lincoln buzz boxes online for three, four hundred, five hundred dollars. I'm like, retarded. You can buy a brand new one for like two eighty, three hundred all day long. Uh, new, you know, Lincoln buzz box, two twenty five AC is the, the model. You'll find those all day long for. You know. But you can get a good. I bought one for one hundred fifty bucks before. I bought one that was beat to hell and it had the case open, didn't have a plug for forty five dollars before. I've well, that was a one eighty S, but same thing, just a lower amperage version, but I preferred it actually because the the increments were better, like it was a lower increment so you can kind of dial in your, your amperage a little better, it was, it was kind of nice. Uh, of course this one's an infinite adjustment, digital screen readout uh, from like, well this is 22, 25, earlier it said 22, whatever, 25 to 160, this is 161, but anywhere in there you want to put this. This one's a, like I said, DC only, 60% duty cycle. Um, uh, you know, it means you can run, and that means 160 amps for six minutes, and you have to let it cool for four minutes. I will say this, I've never hit the duty cycle, ever, with that machine. Uh, as far as, you know, shutting off, you know, a light, anything, never once. And I've used the hell out of it. It's an incredible machine. Um, yeah, um, you know, uh, great machine. Oh, uh, and, and another thing too, like if you look at those old buzz boxes, look at the picture on you know Home Depot's website. You'll see it. You know, it'll have it, and it'll have like a 75 amps, and it'll be circled. Huh? That's 100% duty cycle. So anything that and under is 100% on those machines. All of them that have that circle. I think they all do. But this one, you know, or any of them, like the lower you go in amperage, because like I said, that's you know 160 amps for six minutes. So the lower I go, the higher the duty cycle gets. So that's a crazy duty. That's three times the duty cycle of this machine. Well, so it says. We all know that that's all not super amazing hunk of copper in there because there's not a huge giant hunk of copper in there. But then again, it's not really. It's a, it's a different kind of machine. Uh, it's real light, great, portable. You know, go here, go there with it. Throw it in the pickup. Throw it in the back of the of a in a trunk of a car. Excellent. This thing sits at home, sits in your corner, sits by your bench. Uh, it'll work. It'll, this thing will work when my, you know, 
my kid could use this when he grows up when I'm in a home somewhere. And these things will work for freaking ever. I've heard of some uh, being in floods and this and that and a bunch of crazy stuff. They still work. And I'm talking more like a Lincoln, that was a Lincoln buzz box. Uh, but they, you know, in general, an old, you know, uh, uh, old, uh, old buzz box, old transform machines just work, and they'll work forever. Uh, they're great. We have a 20% duty cycle, we have 220 only, which turns some people away. This one's 220 or 110. Again, this is just sitting somewhere in your garage, shop, whatever. It's what it's kind of meant for. It ain't meant to throw it back in the back of pickup. Although a lot of people used to do that and have done it and will do it. You know, Hobart Stick Mate or Miller Thunderbolt or whatever, throw them back to pick it with the job site. And that's cool. You want to do that? Absolutely fine. I understand. Uh, I will also say the characteristics between DC and AC uh, welding, and some are, some are, you know, you can do both, obviously. Some some can. But, uh, or, you know, this is more of a smooth, more of a steady, smooth arc, and just, just nice. This one's from a little bit more violent. Of course, you know, it's oscillating six times a second. More violent, uh, a little bit more splattery type kind of feel, if that makes any sense. So there's different, uh, this one does start an arc easier, technically. I had some people come over here and kind of tell them, you know, show them the ropes, and they always, they kind of uh, preferred the, the buzz box style transformer machine over the DC machine just because of the way it worked. And one of the first beads that that person ran was a long arc the hell out of it, and they just, warp that plate that we're welding on but with an AC machine you kind of have that problem too you can hold a longer arc and um, you know really you know, not, not do anything good to your whatever your work piece is DC machine do that it's going to go out you know immediately which is good because you should hold a nice good tight arc all the time you know uh, unless you well on a, re, on a restart uh, you might want to long arc it for a second or something to get that puddle going get everything you know melted and then you know continue on go down whatever but that's just kind of the fundamentals of things uh but you know I, I know this thing has a giant hunk of copper in it uh, it's actually got three transformers in it and um you know i've, I've ran it real hard and i've checked everything the leads and the cord coming in the top of it and everything never a problem and i've heard of people just abusing the lincoln buzz boxes never an issue with with duty cycle them catching on fire or smoking or getting warm or anything like that so just kind of a you know thing what you're gonna you know, get into with the uh, with the two different kinds of stick welders that are out there generally.